Hi, this is Hongshu from MotionCircles.com. In this video, I'll show you how to achieve this full 3D backglow animation in After Effects. This tutorial is inspired by this project by The Furl, as well as another video from Motion XP. Check out this amazing channel. In this tutorial, I'll show you my approach on how to make these effects easy to achieve, and you can apply this kind of full 3D in any other project and instantly make it look professional. Let's get started. First, let's create a gradient pattern that will apply onto our full 3D shapes later on. All right, let's get started. First of all, let's create a composition called Demo Comp and then change the dimension to 2000 by 2000. Click on OK. Next, let's create another composition called Color, make it 1000 by 500. Click on OK. We're going to add in three rectangles like this in three different colors. And then we're going to use this color composition as a base of our gradient color. Next thing, let's create another composition called Pattern, make it the same size as our demo composition, 2000 by 2000, click on OK. We're gonna drag the color composition into the pattern composition. Now we have the color inside our pattern. Let's add a motion tile effect onto our composition. Now we just need to change the output width and height to duplicate the pixels of our color composition. If I change it to 600 in the output width, it's gonna duplicate the pixels horizontally. And then if we change this value here, it's gonna duplicate the pixel vertically so that it's gonna fill the whole thing. That looks fine to me. And then let's go back to our demo composition. We're gonna drag our pattern inside our demo. On the pattern composition, let's add a fast box blur effect. Let's change the radius to 150. Let's scale it up, rotate it, and add a position animation so it's moving diagonally. Now that we have the gradient pattern that we need, we can continue on to create some full 3D shapes. First, we'll create a full 3D cylinder animation. Let's draw a circle first, call it top. Go to Align tool to align the circle to the center of the composition. Let's add some animation. Use the Motion Tool plugin to reposition the anchor point to the top of the circle. Hit S on the keyboard for the scale property. Unlink the X and Y scale, and we can add a keyframe at zero seconds. Go for 1.5 seconds. Let's change the Y scale to zero. And then we can do some easy ease to the keyframes. So we get an animation like this. Now duplicate this layer and call the new layer bottom. Change the anchor point to the bottom of the circle. Now we have a different animation like this. Next thing, let's draw a rectangle the same width as my circle. Change the color so it's different from the circle. Now let's change the Y scale to zero at the beginning and after 1.5 seconds, it will grow back to 100%. Copy the easing of the circle keyframes and paste it onto the square. Then we can rearrange the layer orders. This is our full 3D animation of the cylinder. Next, we can add some texture. Let's apply the gradient pattern to all three surfaces of my 3D cylinder. This is what the animation will look like. Nice and neat, right? Let's add an adjustment layer and make the color darker overall. And then we can add in deep glow effects. This is our glowing full 3D cylinder. And then if we want to add some rotation animation to the cylinder with a null object, we can compose everything and then duplicate the layer, reverse the layer order, add new rotation animation to the reversed layer and make it rotate the same direction as the last one so that we can create a looping cylinder animation. Now that we have our full 3D cylinder, we can go make another shape. We can do a half sphere animation, just like one of the shapes you see inside the Furls project. First, let's create a circle and link scale property, set a keyframe at zero second, and then go for 20 frames, set the Y scale to zero. So we have an animation like this. Call this layer back one. Now use this circle to duplicate another one, select keyframe, and then time reverse keyframes. Call this one back two, now let's duplicate this circle, cut the top half of the shape and only leave the bottom half, delete the keyframe and call this one bottom. We can duplicate this half circle, rotate it for 180 degrees and now we have a top half of the circle, we can call it top. Next, this is going to be the last layer we need, use the original circle to duplicate another one, change color, select the two keyframes, right click time reverse keyframe and then copy the first keyframe paste it again after another 20 frames. 
We can call this one inner layer. Now we need to rearrange these layers. Let's cut the length of these layers based on the keyframe, and then we can rearrange the order. Back one on the top, and then we have inner, and then we have back two, and then we have top and bottom. Let's rearrange the layer order this way. Here's the looping animation. Before we continue, I want to share with you an exciting news. Motion design courses just became more affordable at Motion Circles. With our Motion Insider membership, you will get unlimited access to our top tier motion design courses, trusted by over 50,000 students worldwide. Time to elevate your motion design skills to become the best animators you can be. As an insider, you will also receive complimentary project files from all of our Motion Circles YouTube tutorials and enjoy an exclusive 25% discount on all the other incredible animation projects from other artists in our project file shop. Don't miss out on this opportunity to level up your animation skills while becoming part of our vibrant community. Join us today at motioncircles.com and unleash your creative potential. Next, let's drop in our pattern layer and duplicate it four times. Set these gradient pattern to be the track mat of each surface of the half sphere. We'll get an animation like this one. Let's copy the adjustment layer that we had in the previous cylinder animation, and this will be our half sphere full 3D glow animation. Now that we showed you two different shapes in full 3D, one cylinder and one half sphere, we'll kick it up a notch and show you how to work with real 3D and After Effects to get some satisfying animation. If you're liking this tutorial so far, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let's take a look. Let's start it with a new composition, 1920 by 1080. Go to this 3D render tab and change it to Cinema 4D. Hit OK. Now let's create a circle. Make it a 3D layer. Go down to the geometry options. This option is only available under the Cinema 4D renderer. Make the extrusion depth to 40. Let's go turn on the two views in the preview. Change this one to the top view. Now you can see the extrusion that we made. Our circle now has some depth to it. Let's make this circle into a ring. To do that, let's go inside the circle layer. Let's duplicate this ellipse one. Go add a merge path under content outside of the two ellipse. Change the merge path to subtract. Now we can modify the scale of the second ellipse to make a ring. We're subtracting the ellipse two from the ellipse one using this merge path. Next, let's group everything under content into a group. Add a side color. We can change the color of the side of our ring with this property. We can keep it in red for now. If we want to animate this ring, let's add a null object. Make it a 3D layer. Change the Z position of my null object to half of our extrusion depths, in this case 20. Parent our ring to the null so that we can rotate and animate the ring in 3D space. Let's put some keyframe on X rotation. Just give it one round of rotation. Duration will be just three seconds. Let's also randomly adjust the orientation of the null object so it's not moving in a boring one direction. Also change the value of the Y rotation on the ring if you find it useful. Let's duplicate this ring and make it bigger. Change the orientation again so it's rotating differently from the first ring. Let's also make a third ring and it can rotate only in the Y axis using the Y rotation. And this is gonna be our full animation. It's looking great. Next thing, let's pre-compose these layers and call it 3D rings. Now let's add a sphere in the center of our 3D ring. It's basically some circle controlled by a null object rotating. And then we can give it a fast box blur and add some vibrance and deep glow effect. So it's animating as if a 3D sphere in the center. Next step is really important. We need to separate the side of the ring from the front and back surface of the ring. Let's duplicate the ring once, call the original one side, and then the new one we can call it front and back. Let's add in the color key effects on the side. Key out the white color so only red color is left for the side. Then for the front and back, let's add color key again and then key out the red. So only white color is left, which are the front and back surface. Now that our side and front and back are separated, we can add grading color to those individual layers. Let's keep it simple. We can add a black solid layer to make the front and back surface the alpha mat of this black solid, so the front and back will appear to be black. And then we can use a gradient pattern that we made previously in this video, parent it to the side of the ring, 
to use it as an alpha mat. So our side will have this gradient color. Add a curve to make it way darker, and then we can add levels to increase the gamma and bring back some other colors that we had in the gradient color. Now we can add an adjustment layer at the very top and add the deep glow effects. That's our glowing ring animation. You can also drop in the half sphere and the cylinder animation that we made, and this is going to be our full animation. Both full 3D and real 3D in After Effects. There you have it. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to check out our project file shop for many amazing After Effects projects to improve your skills. You can also join our exclusive Discord community to hang out with other motion designers. If you're serious about improving your animation skills and become a professional, check out our Motion Insider membership at motioncircles.com to access our beginner animation courses trusted by 50,000 plus students worldwide. It is the easiest and fastest way to level up your skills and become a professional animator. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.